Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life, and today we are going to make these amazingly colorful and beautiful shooting stars and broken hearts. Okay, I don't usually film at night, and I know we're going to get some weird shadows, but I have the best idea for a project, and I think you're going to love it, so I'm going to bring you along with me. So I have three backgrounds. I used some of the um, unique tools, background papers that we made in the last video. And I layered them. So there's layers of washi tape under here. There's layers of tickets. You can see um, that just gives the back of this dimension. And then the top of it is acrylic paint with tissue paper on it if you have not seen those videos. And what I want to do today is to kind of make faux, um, I got the inspiration from this from Tin Can Jewelry. And what the Tin Can Jewelry girls do is they take colorful tin cans and then they cut them up into shapes and they use that. But for me, the steps that I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take, because usually it's work in progress, is I'm going to have, um, Lots of washi tape, so I have my fun washi tape holder here, my colorful washi tape holder. So we're gonna use all different colors of washi tape. I have some extra guys over here. And we're gonna make these colorful and fun, mostly. And we're also gonna use some Diane Reevely Dilutions paint because I feel like this is gonna be bright enough for what I wanna do. I hardly ever use bright paint, but we're gonna use bright paint but we're gonna use a glaze with it so it's a little, so it's not opaque, so it's translucent. Excuse my head. Um, so I have six colors, so we're gonna use all six colors of these. And we're gonna use tissue paper, and then we're gonna have all different kinds of fun stuff. And then we're gonna make tickets, fancy tickets. We're gonna make shooting stars, and we're gonna make broken hearts. So that's my goal. All right, so we have fun backgrounds. So let's start on one. And this one I'm gonna make pre predominantly, well, I kind of wish I could do yellow, but I don't have a whole lot of yellow washi tape and I don't have any yellow paint from Diane. So we're gonna go with orange for at least half of this. So I have my YooHoo glue stick because um, washi tape will not stay on it permanently because it is a movable tape so we have to we have to put some real sticky on it let's put that there and we'll still be able to see some of it through some of them okay and we're gonna just go with it we're not gonna try to make anything um like, I'm not trying to make a pattern. I'm not trying to do anything exciting. I just want to have this orange pattern on here of the, the color of the washi tape. So I did this one a couple times. Ooh, there's a yellow. Let's put some yellow in here. My poor husband, he's just trying to be on the computer and he's got to listen to me yammer about washi tape. Hopefully he has his headphones in. All right, so we got a little piece of yellow. And then this says, sunny state of mind. Oh, that's kind of clever. That's nice. I don't know why it says that, but God bless us. Oh, that was very sticky, which is unusual for washi tape. And then we got this kind, which is kind of a checky check. All right. Oh, that's a cute one. All right. That's good. That's kind of fun because it's got where the tape didn't come off. Okay. So we have this with orange underneath. So I'm not sure if I want to do more. We can always do... Orange and blue go perfectly together. So I am going to put some of this, which is my favorite kind of washi tape ever in my entire life. 
I will die when this washi tape goes away. So I definitely want to have this. You may see this in more than one because then I can keep it with me forever. Look at how pretty that is. That is my favorite washi tape. Okay, so we'll do a blue there. And I have another cute blue over here. So let's do, let's try to use our color theory well. And orange and blue, orange and teal go well together. All right, I'm gonna have to roll that up the next time. Okay. There, that's what we needed. And we might need a little bit more blue, but let's go with that. And so this is gonna be orange and blue, right? We got those two colors. Now let's pick, um, and that's gonna be our blue and pink. And last but not least is going to be our green and maroon, which could be green and pink because I don't know that I, oh, I do have maroon. Let's see, I have maroon. I have green, so I like green too. Um, I have this one, that's really fun. Um, yeah, no maroon. But we could do this one in fancy colors because this is going to be our tags, right? Yep, that's going to be our tags. So that'll go with our tags. Hold on. Let's see how this goes. We won't make these the primary, but let's put a couple of these in here with the fancy colors. Maybe we'll find out we really like the fancy colors and add them to the other ones. That could be fun. All right, there's that one with the pokey dots. And then let's do this stripes. I really like this stripes. So you'll see that in some of the stuff I do because this, this washi tape, and this is Scotch washi tape. I don't mostly know what kind of washi tape I have, but I got this one from Scotch brand. Okay. This over here. All right, now let's add some greens. This one is going to be like crazy pants. Look at that. This is not normal for me. All right. break this up so it's not the same, same old, same old. Okay, I don't want a little tiny one. Here's two more. Obviously I like, oh, I have more green flowers too, like a, Easter one. But this is a fun way to use your washi tape and I feel like a lot of times I'll buy a pack of washi tape and it'll have these funky colors in it and I won't tend to use them, but I keep them all. So then I just have tons of washi tape. Oh, we're gonna use this pink one too that it has flowers on it. So this is gonna be kind of a flower one. Oh, this one's almost out. I used this for a big project one time. I can't remember what it was, but it was something pretty pretty big and I used a lot of it. Okay. Ooh, that's very bright. Okay, so now we have that, that, that. Okay, we have this one. We're gonna put this one right in the middle. And then we got this pink one. It says, make today amazing. That's a good sentiment. Okay, let's see. Right there, okay, that's very bright. Do we want one more amazing day down here? Might as well, we don't have hardly any contrasting colors. We have the fancy color ones, but hardly any contrasting colors. So, oh, let's do, let's not do that. Let's do a pink, because this is a really, deep pink. I know we had it in one other one, but this is 
probably the closest thing I have to a patterned maroon, and that's what we're going to be using on our paints. All right. There we go. That is this part. Okay, done. And now, this is why I love my little washi tape holder because instead of having to do anything exciting I just stick them on the poles and I'm I'm done one of them jumped and don't worry I will move it off of see see how cute they look all together got that on Etsy I'll put a link to this um all right so now we have these now we're gonna start to do some painting with the glaze. Let's close up our Yoohoo. Let's get a paintbrush. And I do want kind of a fine paintbrush because I want this to be, um, like I want it to be relatively, um, you know, specific. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I want it to be sort of specific. Okay, so now first we're, I heard Diane talk one time and she said, shake it up and you can use the paint from the lid. Brilliant. And I'm going to use the paint from the lid. Okay. So now I want a ton of glaze and a little bit of paint. And see how that makes it sheer. And the more glaze I put in there, the more sheer that's going to be. But I want the color. All right, so that's good. We got that. Let's do it this way. Okay, so we need lots of glaze. Let's get another. How about one right in here? And I feel like that's a little bit heavy, but that's okay because we have, we have the technology to fix that. I know, fancy tech, right? Paper towels, see how I got the gloppies off? Okay, so we can still see a wee bit, but I want way more glaze than that. I think I'm gonna put the glaze down first this time. Yeah, see, that's more what I wanted. So now we know glaze first and then the paint because Diane's paint must be really, really pigmenty, right? Which is good most of the time. Just this time. Okay, so now we have that. Okay, that's exactly what I envisioned. Because we can always come in here later and put lines on that, put dots on that. I'll probably zhuzh that up a little bit. There we go. Okay, good, good, good. All right, shake, shake, shake. Top of the cap. Clean this off for the most part. Okay, here's an open space. Get some glaze on there. Let's get some green paint on there. Oops, wrong spot. Never fear. We clean that right up. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's what I wanted. Okay, let's do up here, up top. And I think that's going to be it for our green. Okay. So, oh, let's do this. That way there's... It's consistent. I don't have to have things perfect, but I do like them to be consistent. 
Okay, how do, what do we think of that? Do we want a little bit more? I think I want it, to, I want it to be pretty. And I don't know if I feel like that's pretty. So let's go back. And maybe that's just, maybe it's just a dark stripe, right? Because I definitely like this stripe better than that stripe. See, I like that a lot better than I liked it with the, the wishy-washy. So I think it's going to depend on the color because I like the green the way it is. Okay, so we got that. Probably because it's on a green background too, right? Okay, let's clean this off, clean this off, clean this off. And we're going to do stuff on there, so please don't get attached to any of these layers. Okay, blue and red, blue and pink. Okay. I feel like I don't have as much tape on here, which maybe we'll just leave more of the background, right? Okay, I like the bright color. Did not know that would ever come out of my mouth, but it's like the second time I go over it, I like it better. But I still wanna use the glaze because I don't want it to be like a band of acrylic paint, I want it to be a highlight color. You're just gonna, well, you've already seen why probably. I usually put a picture of the completed project on the top. See, it doesn't seem like this is much time, but I live in Florida, so it's gonna take forever and a day for this paint to dry. And if I waited till tomorrow, we wouldn't be able to finish it, and that would be sad. Okay, good job, good job, me. Okay. This may not be as translucent, but it's down here on the bottom. The chance that I'll be using this bottom is slim, okay? And then I think that's fine. Oh, we might as well do it up here just in case we get one up here. Just in case, you never know, you never know. Okay, good, that's good. And last but not least, we have, this is gonna be my favorite. You know it does have my favorite washi tape on it, right? Teal and orange, teal and orange are like two of my favorite colors anyways. Lots of glaze. See, I am totally digging this one. Sorry, I have a bucket of water over here. I'm gonna try to clear off my brush a little bit. And last but not least, we're gonna do orange. And then we'll leave this sit overnight. So fun. Okay, let's do some up here. And Diane's colors are just so vibrant. This was, my husband got me this for like Mother's Day. And I've used it a couple of times, but I was waiting for like the perfect vibrant project. And honestly, you guys, this is it. Look at this. Whew, that is gorgeous. That is my favorite. All right, so we are gonna let this dry overnight. Okay, I am super excited today because this project, you know how sometimes you have an idea in your head and then it sort of works or it works, it works great, but it's different. This one is coming out exactly the way that I pictured it. So these are Posca pens and um, uh, Wallo, Molto, Molito um, pens. I get them at Thick Blicks, and I get them at, this is a, um, another one, but they're, they're paint pens, acrylic paint pens. We're going to be using those. We're going to be using stamps, okay, and we're going to be using P3 
pieces of paper. Oh, shoot. And we're going to be using permanent archival ink. And I like those little itty bitty ones because I can get all different kinds of colors in a pack. So we got tons of different colors. I don't know if you can see those, but we got a ton of different colors. Hang on, we got more. Okay, so we got all these colors too. Oh, those aren't colors, those are brown. Okay, so let's go. Let's try this one first. And what I wanna do is I want to stamp something in this area. Like if it was a tin can thing. I think I need some washi tape. So I have some over here. I'm trying to look for a kind I don't like very well. All right, I have this black one. Okay, so let's do, because we kind of want this to stay on here. All right, so we're going to do that. And we're going to do this. And now we're going to take my favorite stamp of all times, which are these letters. And I'm gonna start with black archival. So just a plain old black archival ink stamp. Guess we could get it all over the, the stamp. We're gonna come on here. All right, well, let's try to get it a little bit more. I'm fine with that. Let's try to get it a little bit more stampy over here then. Oh, but much better. Okay, that's good. And I don't mind that. You can tell there's little words there. This is this is um, like their old rusted cans that they um, that they were not well taken care of, right? I don't need everything to be perfect. In fact, as with almost everything I do, I'd rather they were a little imperfect because now we can still see behind there. All right, so now let's do some over this because this is kind of not like the others. And then I'm going to do some over that bright green. So I think I'll go with black again. Let's move this up because we want to get as much of the space as we can. All right. And since this is supposed to be different, like different things that happened, let's do a black clock face. Okay, that's neat. I like that. All right, now I want something different. So how about these circles? Let's do some of these. And let's see what that looks like. Oh, that looks good, right? That looks like that something was happening there. It's nothing perfect, but something was happening there. And I don't have green permanent. Interesting. I do not have green permanent archival. So let's see. Let's do brown and put something on this green because I don't want them to all be black. This isn't black and white. This is actually, what do you think? Should we do instead of brown, should we do like a blue? We could try a blue. Blue and green are pretty together. All right, let's try a blue. All right, let's cover this up so I don't get coated in. Ooh, here's a darker blue. Let's try this darker blue. And let's do checkers on this because I really want to kind of cover it up a little bit. And what I've noticed, I'm not a stamper very much, what I noticed was like the first time it didn't stamp very good, and after that it did. So let's let's do this. Do, do, do. See, that's breaking up those, those leaves. Oh, I like that. Do we want it on the whole thing? We might as well go for it now. Okay, so we got that. That was a perfect color, right? Not black, just a little something something there. What's this one? Oh, Schiffer. That one's brown. Okay. Now we need a pink, so we have a really pretty pink. Let's do something in pink here. Will this fit over here? 
Okay. Yeah, that'll work, right? Okay, good enough. Good enough for government work. And I'm gonna do this long, stitchy thing. That's the technical word for it. Let's try pink and we may have to do purple. Pink may not show up too well. Stamp this. Oh, the stitchy thing is cool. That's kind of neat, huh? Okay. There we go. That works. All right, so now we're getting even more texture stuff going on in here. I need something over this. Let's do some, I'm gonna do some blue. Okay, cover up your stuff. I'm gonna do some blue words over there. That's gonna be fun. Let's get our mask. And we're gonna use these letters because I really like these letters, numbers. And we're gonna use this bright Mermaid Lagoon Blue. That last one was picked raspberry. The other one was faded jeans. I think that's all I've used so far. Okay. Boop. Nice. This this um, Mermaid Lagoon is a favorite of mine. Okay, let's go this way this time. And now I have to have this be permanent because I'm gonna be doing all kinds of other things on here. So if I use Distress, I'm gonna be going on with um, probably some either glossy accents or dimensional. I'm gonna be doing all kinds of stuff. And if I did that with this, um, with Distress, regular Distress, it would um, kind of be funky, right? There's no way it wouldn't be funky. Okay, so let's try something else. Okay, we got this pink one. Uh, I don't wanna do too many, okay, let's do down here. I don't wanna do too many stampings in a row. Cause this isn't a, this isn't a stamp project. What else we got? Let's go back to our little circles. Cause those were kind of cool. And, and now let's use the pink, which is the picked raspberry. Just trying to break up the washi tape so it isn't so obviously washi tape. I'm trying to I'm trying to dazzle people with my tin cans. Okay, all right, perfect. Now I'm gonna keep this off to the side because I'm gonna do the other two sets when you're not here, but I wanna show you something else I'm gonna be doing while you're gone, okay? So let's get these in order. And we're gonna take some of these um, Posca pens. So that one doesn't have any goo in it yet. Let's pick one that has goo. Um, okay, let's do white. And by goo, I mean it's gotten down into here because you have to prime them. You push them down to prime them and see so you get that little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over and I wanna do some fun stuff. So I'm gonna do circles around here. Just to break this up. And this is acrylic paint in here. So this will not move either. Okay, all right, so that's good. That breaks that up. Um, let's do, I want fat white. Ooh, let's do gold. I don't know if I've done my gold yet. Nope. So give me one second. And you want to shake them. They have that shaker ball in there. Whenever you hear a shaker ball, you want to shake it. And especially for the yellow, I want it between this green and this. So we're going to do... Oh, here it comes. There we go. It's in. So I'm going to do lines here. And then let's do, we could do down here on this purple, we could do dots. And I'm going to keep doing this on all of the different pages. Don't forget, we have the turquoise page, 
and we have the pink and blue page, and we have this page. So I'm gonna go through, and I'm gonna do this on all the pages with all the colors, with the blues, with the, um, so just continue to build up different colors onto this project. Okay, so I've finished all three of them. And again, this is my favorite one. And this one's okay. I don't love the circles, which is fine. We're gonna do more layers. And then this one came out pretty cool. It's pretty grungy, but it's still bright, right? Like the whole point of this, I have trouble with grunge, so I wanted to make them bright. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna get my um, Big Shot machine out, and we're gonna make some templates of the pads, because we're gonna be using these three pads. And I think you can see that one. This is tags, so we're gonna finish up with the tags, and then there's stars, and then there's hearts. So, first one. And this is a little board that comes with it if you're doing the skinny dies. I do the skinny dies too, but not for this. We just need this, and I have to do it this way, which I think sucks it this way. So we're gonna try this. My handle fell off if you were here on the last, uh, last one. You would have seen my handle fall off. My husband said to just do it clockwise now, which we can do. Okay, let's see. Yep, that's right. Okay, so this is what I want to do. I want to make our broken hearts, but I don't want to waste all this, all this stuff, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and I'm going to cut out pieces of this that are the right, because look, see, we could do it this way, we could do it this way, we could do it this way, and then I'll have a ton more to where I could even do a, because um, what I want to do with the broken hearts, I'll explain to you what I'm doing, is yes, it's going to be the tops of some of these, but it's going to be actually the bottoms of other ones. We're going to mix them and match them a little bit. So some of them are going to be the tops and bottoms. Some are going to be mix match tops and bottoms. But I want to get as many of these out of these papers as I can get. So if I make this little template, then I know I'll get as many as I can. So I am going to cut some papers and I will be back. Okay, so now we've got our trusty big shot. We've got our piece cut out so that it'll fit. And we've got our piece cut out so it'll cover that, right? So it's totally covering the, um, the star, so we know that we will get a full star, right? So let's get our plate in here. We don't want that to move. So we almost wanna put it right down on top of it. We're gonna go clockwise so our handle doesn't fall off, okay? And now we have a perfect star. Now there's a little cutoff on the bottom. I don't care about that at all. I'll make that the top. There'll be a brad in there. You'll never, ever, ever notice, but that is cool. So I like that very much. We're gonna keep this off to the side. So I'm gonna do all this cutting without you because you don't need to be tortured with that. But I wanted to show you what I'm gonna do with all these little off cuts too. So. This is going to be my fun tag thing for the rest of the year, because look, I can check on here, and, and you'll be able to see this in one second. I don't know if you can see it on the, the thing, but watch this. So I take that little tiny piece, right? And you really have to, um, so I meant to, to tell you this. Okay, so look at that wicked cute little tag right there. That's amazing. I will be using that on something. I might even use it in this project. I don't know. But what I wanted to tell you was, this is um, mixed media paper. Then it is 
um, washi tape. Then it is acrylic paint. Some of it has extra acrylic parts. So do I think that you could use possibly one of the skinnier dies? And I have, oh, I don't have any handy. Um, one of the skinnier dies to do this, you might be able to, um, but I would tend to use the, they're called Biggs dies. They're the, the steel rule dies. I would tend to use these for this project and plan on that rather than using little baby, you know, the, the thin lit dies or anything like that. I don't know that they would go through this. Okay. I accidentally forgot to cut that up, so I'll have to cut it up when I get done. Um, okay, so these are all the extra little bits I got. Look at all those gorgeous tags that I will have to use and, and like little hole reinforcers. I will have gorgeous, gorgeous tags to use going forward. Add a pop of color, right? But this is amazing. This is what I envisioned. Okay, so we have shining stars right we have shining stars and we have we're gonna have broken hearts so i have three of each that's how many i could get out of that paper okay so now we have to think about what we want to do because we could make these all broken so let's do one broken first let's do this is my least favorite one I'm gonna break this one first. Um, and I, I probably will still do a bunch of stuff to this, but I wanna break it first. So we're gonna take this and cut right across the middle of that star. Okay. And then we need to get our black magic marker or a black, any kind of black pen, any kind of pen actually because I want to make dots where we're going to make the grommet holes. I don't want them to be too close or too far away. Okay, so I have those holes. And I'm going to tend to go further out rather than further in. So, like, I'm going to use the bottom... Um, Okay, let's try this. So we have this. We have this. Okay, so now we have two holes in them. I'm gonna make holes in the other side that are right, right across from each other. Okay, there we go. So now we have two sets of holes. And what we need are two jump rings and some grommets. So do you know what jump rings are? Jump rings, we could do anything actually. So we could do it with, so if you didn't want to use grommets, okay, you could literally use these, they're called bubble clips. You could literally put these bubble clips in, right? And have your shining star, you know, your, your two sides of your star. Let's see. Right? So you don't have to do grommets if you do not have a grommet issue like I do. See? And then in your journal, this will hang down like that. And then you would have your broken star, right? Um, but I want to use grommets and I want mine to be fancy. And grommets and eyelets are the same thing. Okay. So those are undone now. All right, let me grab, I have an eyelet container. I need to go grab that and I need to get our grommets out again. I know you probably feel like I spend a lot of time searching through my grommets, but, but 
then, you know. Okay, so this is my jump rings. And jump rings aren't very exciting. I have some bigger ones and some littler ones, but I need these decent sized ones. And I need them to, I don't necessarily even need them to match color wise, but I need them to match size wise. So my, so I have three, six, nine, 12. So I need six, do I need 24 jump rings? Two for each, yeah, 24 jump rings. I wanna make sure the mechanics of this works and then I'm gonna saucy these up even more. All right, so now we need our grommet container. Okay, so I don't want giant grommets. I want semi-small grommets. So like I have all those guys, those are pretty good. Ooh, can I use my pink ones? I bet you I can use my pink ones. Are those pink, both pink? One's pink, one's red. Two red. Oh, maybe I can use my colored ones since I never want to use my colored ones because I always do dark and gloomy. There's orange. There's pink. Two pink. Two pink, two red. You want to do it on those? Okay, let's do those. And we are going to pop these on. I've given up trying to show you this because if I try to show you I mess up my project, I'm just too derpy for that. Okay, so now we want to take our pliers. Sometimes these open up without pliers. Nope, not those ones. And I don't have the right kind of pliers because my children and my husband steal my stuff. But there's a jump ring open. We slide it through here. I really like how that looks with the extra colors. I would never have thought of that because I have a whole bunch of colored grommets. Um, I would never have thought of that because I don't, I don't use color that much, right? I'll use a color. Um, now I kind of want colored jump rings, but I don't think that's a thing. So anyways, we won't get, we won't get fussy about that. All right, so we got this, we got this, we got this. Okay, Woo. see? Okay, so this is what I wanted to do, and then you'll be able to, I think I almost wanna put one up here so that we can hang it. Um, but, oh, that's fun. But normally, I think I'm for sure on the other two, you would have, oh, we can do it here, I'll show you. You would have that top and this bottom to make it even more colorful, right? But we're not done yet. So we have this stuff. But the first thing I wanna do is I want to zhuzh this up, right? So I have this Distress Embossing Pen and I have, I had this on this paper for a certain reason. Okay, so I'm gonna do a couple different things. I want to, I gotta find a teeny tiny, oh, here's this one, this is my favorite. Okay, so I am going to go all the way around this star. Let's do it on the bottom. So all the way around the outside of the star, we're gonna try this first, see what happens. Because we want it to be as bright as it can be. Ooh, let's do this. Okay, I have some Tim Holtz glaze. So this is, I always forget, we wanna be colorful for this project. Okay, so I have some Tim Holtz. And, and this, this becomes translucent when you do it, when you emboss it. So let's see what happens. Oops. We gotta put the embossing powder pack. So let's see what happens. Let's tippy tap this off. Tip, tip, tap, tap, tap. Okay, and that's gonna be around the edge. And this is translucent, so it's not gonna be totally covering it, but it's gonna give it like a little sheen. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh no, we almost did it. Were you yelling? Were you yelling for me? 
All right, so this is gonna, and it makes it a little, look a little bit glossy. There it goes. Okay, so that looks cool. It's just giving us a little fun dimension in there. Okay, is there some in the middle I didn't get? There we go. Pop that. Okay, so that is fun. It's getting brighter. Do we want a little gold on the stars for the shining stars? Let's try a little gold on just some of them. Just a little bit. So I'm going to do it across the top here. Ow, ow, ow. Let's get our thing back. Let's get our embossing powder. Now, I know this doesn't look gold. It looks brown, but it's actually gold. It's very odd. We used this in another project together. And it, it turns gold. I thought it was going to be dark brown. But since we're being all fancy and stuff, we might as well try it. Right? Right. Okay. Bop, 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 bop. All right, let's shut this. Get our embossing gun out. And this is really cool when it turns. See that? So I wanted to have shining stars and broken hearts. So this is a shining star, right? All right, let's make sure everything got bubbly. That's pretty. Okay. So now I need to let this sit for a little bit and then I am going to, so I'm gonna do this to all of them. I'm gonna tart them all up. I'm gonna use um, Distress Embossing Glaze. So I have um, Weathered Wood Fossilized Amber, which is really cool. I'm gonna do that one next. And then uh, Peel Paint. So this is green, that'll go good with our green ones. And so the thing about this is you can do layers and layers and layers of this. So say I was like, oh, I feel like that got too dark, right? Um, I can come in with my embossing pen and say, come along the bottom here. Put this up, put this on. Always dump out way more than you think you need because it, it doesn't matter. You just tip it right back into the into the container, right? All right. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. All right, so then we got this. And I'm just going to layer and layer and layer this stuff because this is going to go clear mostly, remember? It's just going to be a hint of that yellow. Oh, yeah. Look at that, that brightened it up a little bit. And then, once I get done with this, which I don't know if I'm gonna use the gold again. This is my tester, so everything's good. Um, once I get done with this, I am going to try a new product, new to me, which is this Mod Podge Dimensional Magic, which I think is the Mod Podge version of Glossy Accents, but it's hard for me to get my Glossy Accents out of my bottle, I think because it's old. So I wanna see if it's easier to get this out. So that's what I'll be doing. I'll have you back in a little bit, especially when all this gets dry. Okay, so I did one of the stars and I did the one I liked the least. So the reason why I do this is because I used a smaller grommet but still it broke the tip of this star. So I know that, that, that I shouldn't do that. Um, I like how this came out. I like the dimension and the color, but I think the gold around the edge was way too much. Um, I'll definitely use this for something, but I'm so glad that I didn't do that because I think for the stars, I'm gonna leave those whole um, and just tart them up, do all kinds of stuff. Um, I did use the Dimensional Magic, and it is stiff. It's not as stiff as Glossy Accents, but it came out much easier. Um, so I think I'm going to keep the stars and do some uh, embossing and things like that, do some coloration and 
make them a little fancy, maybe do some uh, like this kind of jobber around the edge where you take and you highlight, get some, some extra color around the edge, right? Just get some different stuff going. Um, so those I'm gonna leave plain, but these I am gonna make broken hearts because then I can put the grommets in the top of the hearts and them not break. So I just wanted to check in with you guys real quick and let you know what I was up to. Okay, I did a bunch of glazing, so they look a little shiny. And now I've broken all my hearts. So one, my very favorite colors, I left just like it was, but all the other ones, they were whole hearts. And now I've paired all the hearts with different bottoms. So new and different bottoms so they don't match anymore. So now I'm going to put the grommets in them, and the next step you'll see is totally done, because I'm going to do the dimensional magic on them, but you don't have to watch me do that. Um, but now, next step will be done. Okay, I finished them up last night. So here are our shining stars. And then look at our broken hearts. Look at how cute they came out. I don't know about you, but like this one, that, that one actually goes together, but this one has different colors. I just think, I think there's so many people right now who do have broken hearts or they're a little bit sad and having pretty broken hearts is definitely better than having no pretty broken hearts, so. Hopefully you love this project as much as I did. I really enjoyed making it, and I will be using those in my journal sometime soon.